Good morning, modern steaders. It's a nice, brisk three degrees above Fahrenheit this morning. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm a planner, and I usually try to plan like a week ahead at a time. And man, this winter has not been helping that. The other day we dug out for the barn getting dropped off. That'll be here <laughs> next week. Yes! And then I'm like, you know what? We're gonna work on building the bacon mobile this morning. It's three degrees out this morning. It's one of the colder mornings. Oh, it seems like every time we decide to work on the bacon mobile, it's cold out. What were you walk doing, huh? Stay over here. Good morning, girls. Good morning, Buttercup. Blossom. You are waiting for us patiently, Willow. There you go. Is that good? My question to you is, are you a planner? Or are you kind of more of a spur of the moment? I like, I like both, I guess. I like having a plan and being able to get the plan done and then being able to be spurred the moment in the moment. <laughs> I can get very focused for getting a project done. So we're hoping Willow's pregnant and if she is, I believe it's May 12th, she'll be due. But she's looking like she's got a good sized baby bump. Yes, good morning, Buttercup. We're not doing an ultrasound on her because her winter coat is too thick. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> got like a frog in my throat. Her winter coat's too thick and they'd have to shave her to do the external ultrasound. And it's too cold for that. So they would do an internal one. And what the vet said is the little Nigerian dwarf goats don't like the internal ultrasound. So we're not gonna put Willow through that. Maybe we'll wait to see as it gets closer. Maybe we can do an ultrasound if it warms up or we'll just be surprised at how many babies she's gonna have. You look cold, Pluto. You ready to go in and warm up by the fire? Come on. Don't know if I've shown you, but the tomatoes have popped up. The peppers are lacking. They're about getting ready to start. And the lettuce has already started. They've been up for two days now. I know, I forgot to show you guys. I'm sorry. Oh. And I've got another LED grow light that I want to try out. This is the heat from the wood stove warming you up nicely, Pluto. Feels good, don't it? Next week is gonna be an awesome week. We're getting the barn delivered, and before that, the Heritage Cooking Crash Course starts. Oh. If you guys haven't signed up for that, I'm gonna put a link to that in the description down below. I've talked about it a few times. If you don't know what the Heritage Cooking Crash Course is, our friend Jill over at the Prairie Homestead is gonna be teaching us how to cook like Little House on the Prairie, but in the modern with a modern twist. Oh. There's 10 video series. She's giving it away free next week. The two that I'm really looking forward to is, just gotta watch my footing, is bread making and fermentation. And then there's some on pressure, there's courses on pressure canning. There's courses on curing meat. The list goes on and on. If you signed up for it, I'd love to know which video series you're looking forward to the most. Morning girls, did you stay warm last night? You didn't touch your peppers, man. Oh, she's hiding the eggs on us. We'll have to, oh, we'll have to wait till she gets out. Look at that, three nice eggs. Oh, she just, Moose, good morning. This one, she just laid, it's nice and warm. Oh. 
that sun's starting to come out. That feels nice. Oh, I put I had to put a little neck warmer on this morning and a little bit of a warmer hat. There's some rawness in the ear. We gotta clean up the deck first. I got some two by fours that are 10 feet long yesterday. I want to cut out our top and our bottom plates for the side walls of the bacon mobile. Gotta make it five feet long. Put my two two by fours right next to each other like they are and now I'm gonna mark layout meaning where I want my upright two by fours to go so we know this is an inch and a half thick for the first two by four and then we want 16 on center This side's gonna kinda be the same way, but we're gonna start on this end, and I'll show you why in a second. So inch and a half. And I'm gonna leave an opening here that is 25 and a half inches wide. So if I wanna put a walkway, walk through doorway in, this is the perfect spot for that. So I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine two by fours, and we're going to go five feet tall. It's a weird number, but I'll explain to you afterwards why we're going five feet tall. All right, let's try to do two at a time. Hopefully we can speed the process up a little bit. Darn snow everywhere. I think we're gonna end up fighting this one just a little bit. If it's straight on the edge, <laughs> that's how much of a warp that board has in it. We'll mark it and cut it and maybe it'll be our extra one today. Alright, 
right, we'll set this one aside for now. Pretty much bought just enough two buys for the walls and a couple of extras, but I want to figure out what length we're going to need to make our roof. All right, we'll use this one. The ice is gonna make it a little challenging. We love challenges though. Keep track of all the screws. We don't want to drop any and give Gina a flat tire. That would not be good. cracked right there so put an extra screw in there we go I'll mark it this way, center. Perfect. Second wall's done. Oh, don't try this at home, but I need to get this ice out of my way.
how this goes. Uh, hopefully melting that ice off will make it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna overhang this an inch and a half. What did I do with that? I was gonna say I had it out. Something like that. Sweet, no hands. Yikes. <laughs> That'll work for now. That'll hold it in position. Now we gotta melt this side off. anything down yet because I want to make sure everything is square before I screw it in place four and a sixteenth this one is 74 and a quarter so that side either needs to come out My plan is, is to put two screws in per board. Oh, we got to play with more fire now, guys. I know, it's terrible. Uh-oh. She froze up. There we go. and a half.
I got a cross brace here. I squared this wall up. I want to make sure that stays when I'm racking the sides in and out. Get the bottom screwed in place. So now I know that this has to come out and this wall will stay straight while I'm doing that. I'll do that like so. That's nice up there now. You wanna go inside? There you go, buddy. All right. So see how far off this side is? Oh, that would not have been good. So let's do this. Oh, does my head fit? There we go. There we go. Nice. I like it. We measured everything fits nicely. I want to have a drop down ramp door off the back here so this can hinge and drop down. That'll be the way the pigs can get in and out. And then over here, we'll have our human walk through door if we need to get in. It's all nicely secured. What are you doing, Figaro, huh? You're crazy. You warming up on the black? Silly kitty. All right. Up front here, we're gonna be using that for other parts of the pig mobile. We're not gonna use that for their shelter, but we're gonna need it. It's gonna play an important role in the bacon mobile. We've added a little bit of weight, but not that much. I'm curious how it still pushes. There she lies. <laughs> you like the bacon mobile? Yeah. Can make some pasture raised bacon with that baby? Yeah. Yeah. You scaring the goats, Pluto. I'm with you girls. I can't wait till all this snow melts. Oh, Willow, you're looking huge. This way. Look at all that hay you still have. Yeah, you got plenty of hay, girl. You got plenty of hay. You just need to eat your snack. You just need to eat your snack. Are you cold or are you warm now? Warm. Now you're warm. Let's go. Get Olivia. Pluto knows where we're going. What's gonna happen, Pluto, when you can't go in the fenced-in area anymore? You want that icicle? Ooh, that's a big one. I think I need you to break it. Ooh, that one too. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
more eggs. Perfect. You breaking your swords over there? Yeah, I didn't mean to break. I didn't mean to break this part of that part of this one and that part of this one. Uh oh. This one hit it, and I'm trying to break this one. But... I don't know about you, but I'm getting excited to see what the bacon mobile is going to look like once it's all said and done. Spring's going to be here before you know it, guys. I'm looking forward to it. Remember, it's our uniqueness that makes us who we are. Let it shine. We'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.